Hello Hectubers and welcome back to my channel. As you can see in my hand I'm holding a TV soundbar Bluetooth speaker. But this device has no batteries inside. It's powered by micro USB cable or power adapter that needs DC 5 volts and at least 2.5 amps. I'm gonna build in a lithium batteries rechargeable and make it portable. Let's disassemble. Weight iron, didn't expect that. And here it is the whole thing two real speakers, two radiators, the electronic board. That's it. I'm gonna place the lithium batteries somewhere here or here. Right now, I'm gonna solder two wires on the main board the positive and the negative wire and i'm gonna test it that does this board working on 3.7 volts without dc booster or boosting to the 5 volts let's solder the wires now negative and here it is the positive Here I have a digital power supply that is set on 3.8 volts and the wires from the board and now I'm gonna connect it negative to negative and positive to positive and see does it work on 3.8 volts or lithium batteries. Enter the Bluetooth. Alright, it's working. It not need for 5 volts. It can work on 3.7 volts lithium batteries, rechargeable. That's great. I have the batteries right here. You have around five to 6,000 milliampers. Next, I need a charging board. These are rechargeable. PCB board for lithium batteries and with the resistor set to 1 amp I need 1 amp for charging this capacity of battery maybe 4 to 6000 milliampers I don't know how much you have a micro USB port I'm gonna solder right now let's remove this iron weight I don't know why they put it right here. Instead, on this place, I'm gonna place it the batteries. They place iron weights just to simulate. Very hard. Let's try this one. Come on, man. What? As I said, they place uh, iron weights just to make the Bluetooth speaker more heavier and to look more quality. Fake. Okay, everything is connected, 
these are two 18650 lithium batteries connected in parallel to get more capacity here it is the charging board with micro usb port from here the charging board will charge the batteries and from batteries directly is connected to the main board with the audio amplifier and this port I'm gonna not use anymore we have a USB port for charging on this side I make a hole and here it is the port let me try it Enter the Bluetooth. it's working now it's time to assemble the whole thing For testing the Bluetooth speaker, and here it is the micro USB charging port. Maybe this hole look ugly, but it's working. Yep, we have a red light, meaning it's charging. Turning on. Enter the Bluetooth. I'm gonna connect with my phone. Connection successful. Good. All right, it's working perfectly. Okay, that was a video how you can hack an ordinary TV soundbar without rechargeable batteries inside and place a rechargeable batteries and get a portable speaker.